Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for September 6, 2019. Happy Friday, everyone. This was a short week, but my goodness, what a week of turmoil we've had with gaps all over the place and crazy price action, news generated spin. Um, what a wild week we have had. And that could continue this morning with the market right now pointing to another gap up open ahead of a very important um, economic report. And we'll talk about that in just a second. Let's take a look at the technicals of the chart. Yesterday, we kicked off a bit of a short squeeze when we heard that the U.S. and China were going to come back together and discuss trading um next month but i gotta tell you I, it, to, to me it doesn't make any sense that we rallied this far left such a big gap behind um on the news that we're going to talk there's nothing about that that suggests that we're going to actually have a deal but Nonetheless, that's what the market decided to do, um, and we've been that all-or-nothing market where we've just um, e either we're uh, totally emotionally bullish or we're totally emotionally bearish. Can't seem to have that happy medium and calm down just yet. So we left this great big gap behind, and as you know, gaps like to be filled. Um, just like this big gap here and we filled it so now the question is will the bulls find enough energy enough inspiration to hold this market up through uh, through the rest of today going into the weekend or will those bears decide to attack and maybe push us back down uh, working to fill that gap. Let's take a look at our moving averages here. Yesterday, the Dow broke solidly through its 50-day moving average, just leaping up over that, slamming into some levels of price resistance right in here and stopping uh, with a pullback. And as uh, you know, has been typical here lately, we have um, all of these gaps. We gap. We got a little bit of a short squeeze yesterday, and then just went nowhere the rest of the day so all of these moves have been in the gap there hasn't been much a retail trader can do to participate in them unless you're already in that trade taking the risk and, and getting dealt the, the gap um, on the other side so not a lot we can do here as a retail trader. Um, and unfortunately, um, we're facing that gap again this morning. Bulls right now ahead of the employment situation number are bullish. So holding above that 50-day moving average, logic would tell us after an 850-point eight, move um, in three days that a rest or pullback is likely to occur at any time. We essentially went from um, kind of an oversold condition into an overbought condition in just three short days and every all of it was in the gap um, so where do we go from here and I, I think it's really going to be um, it, it's really going to depend on how that employment situation number comes out and we'll talk about that in a second so if we do find um, find some bullish action we could push right up into this level of resistance fairly easily i think um and then we'll have to see if we can challenge um, that up there if the bears take over and they start pushing us down watch for this potential gap to be filled and a pullback into that 50-day moving average um, that seems to be a fairly logical uh, place and actually a level of support that would really um, be kind of key um, in this idea of bullishness. So we need to hold on to that if we do happen to pull back. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, very similar situation, gapping up, holding up stronger than the Dow at the end of the day, but still um, challenged by this price resistance up here. Um, can we actually go higher without knowing anything more about you know a uh, trade that we've got uh, new tariffs going in. We've got new tariffs threatened for the first of next month. Um, can we really break through there before we even have a discussion to see whether or not they're going to come to, uh, well, that they can agree on anything? 
Maybe so. Um, in that situation, we, we've leapt far above the 50-day moving average, leaving most of this move in the gap. And as you can see, there's some price support in here. So if we can push on higher, we have these resistance levels right up here in this price uh, for today if that employment number comes in um, and, and inspires the bulls. If those bears happen to get inspired, watch for that pushback to maybe f um, fill that gap, push us back down there toward that 50-day moving average. If we take a look at the Qs, Q's very similar situation, shoving itself right up into this price resistance area in the chart, trying to uh, challenge those all-time highs in the market, which seems odd to me, challenging all-time highs when nothing has changed. And also, um, we have that same level here, that big open gap down here. So if the bulls are inspired, look for that push up here. Bears are inspired, watch out for that push down here today. So went from um, kind of oversold to overbought in a really quick move. And now it's really going to come down to will the bulls find enough inspiration to hold that? And, and um, those questions are going to... Um, probably plague us the entire day. Even if we do get that bullish move this morning, can it hold throughout the day heading into the weekend? Let's take a look at IWM. IWM, um, certainly not bullish here. Um, IWM still in its downtrend. Obviously a really nice move up, leaving a big gap behind. Certainly not leaving an overly confident um price candle here on the day and uh, failing to hold on to its 200-day moving average. Looking to gap up this morning, maybe challenge um, a little bit higher here this morning um, ahead of that number, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, certainly nothing bullish in uh, the um, small cap stocks here. Let's take a look at the VIX. That VIX had a nice little decline yesterday, pushing down pretty darn sharply. And as you can see, it caught a little bit of a bounce right off of that price support that we've been talking about. So now the question with the gap up open this morning, and uh, depending on how that plays out, remember we're gonna get this employment situation before the open. So how that will play out is really anyone's guess. If those bulls are inspired, let's look for that push down, that break of that um, 16 level here in um, the VIX and that possibility that we could move on lower and maybe test this downtrend line for support. If um, if the bears happen to be inspired um, on that number, let's watch this um, uh, potential bounce up in here and hopefully it doesn't break through that little downtrend right there in the VIX. So, wow, a lot of uncertainty here today, exactly how this is going to come out. Let's take a look at our um, T2122 indicator. And T2122 is one of those indicators that you know, it just really gives us good clues. You know, when we reach up here into these high levels, we normally push back. When we're down here in these low levels, we push back higher. So we went from all the way down here into this bear, uh, bullish reversal zone to the bearish reversal zone um, in just um, half a breath, you know, just wham, slammed right back up here. And we're trying to gap higher this morning, which is going to potentially put us all the way up into here. Um, kind of just completely um, overbought in the short term. And the question is, will that be able to hold into kind of the uncertainty of the weekend? Assuming that everyone finally realizes that we don't know anything new, that the tariffs are still in place, we, nothing has changed. However, that jobs number could definitely make a difference. And so we'll have to pay attention to that number coming out here before the market opens. So with that in mind, let's take a look uh, at that economic calendar. Let's see what we've got going here. First, we have an employment situation number. Now the ADP yesterday gave us clues that we should see strength in this number. And currently the consensus is suggesting somewhere around 160,000 jobs were created last month. Now that's a double-edged sword. 
Okay. If we come in kind of as consensus estimates goes, we'll probably be pretty good on the day. However, there's going to be a couple reasons to have concern over this. If, for example, we miss on the consensus estimates, if there's a surprise miss, look for the market, look for those bears to be um, emboldened to really push down and maybe fill that gap. Right now, I think the odds of that occurring are low. Right now, we have pretty good numbers and they've been holding really, really strong. But you never know in an uncertain situation like this with an economy um, around the world that's kind of sh being shaky. Then, what if the number comes in excessively strong? What if we created a lot more jobs than everyone expected? What will that do for um, the hopefulness of a Fed rate cut. If we get too strong a number, we could actually see the Fed back away from a rate cut and that would also disappoint the market and maybe embolden the bears. So a pretty interesting situation this morning that we're going to have to deal with around that employment situation number. And then, of course, we have uh, Jerome Powell speaking later today. Unlikely he's going to reveal anything new, but of course the market will react if he does happen to say, if they glean something new from his comments, um, we could see big reaction in the market um, around that. So watch that pretty closely. So let's take a look. Well, before we do that, I want to ask you a favor. If if this is the first time you've seen these videos, could you please click the subscribe button there on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time one of these videos is posted. Hopefully you can see that what I try to do in these videos is really dig into the technicals of the chart, the price action of the chart, the details of what may affect us for the day and how hopefully you understand that the whole idea is, is to help you figure out how you want to approach approach the market for the for the day without all of that bogus prediction that um, you might find so many other places because no one knows exactly what's going to happen. So we have to watch, we have to wait, we have to stay focused on the price action of the chart. Price is king. Learn to follow the price action of the chart and you've got a, a big part of the market handled. So if you find this video worthy, could you do me another favor and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. Even the briefest of comments help Helps. And by the way, feel free to leave any comment you like. Um, and, and, and I encourage you to read the comments. There's some great comments in there. Um, one of the one of the subscribers that commonly leaves these wonderful comments, James Duffy, and I mentioned him earlier this week, just leaves these really wonderful comments. And he has experience in the negotiation field um, between countries and working for the government. Um, very, very good comments. Um, and you'll see that throughout the comment section. So take some time to read that. And also, if you'd like a little bit more information right below the uh, title of this video in the description there is a link back to the morning blog every morning I write a morning blog it is available to everyone if you're interested in learning just a little bit more so everyone I want to wish you all a great day in trading I want to wish you great profits and Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up and ideas that could be um, uh, valuable to you for your watch list. Now, remember, any stock I suggest or show in uh, this video is not meant as a, a recommendation to buy or sell any security whatsoever. Just some ideas that you might want to put together, do an evaluation, take, keep an eye on those charts um, because they could be uh, very valuable in the future. Let's take a look at at UPS, UPS moving up nicely and has largely ignored this uh, volatility of the market. Now, I would suggest UPS has probably moved a little bit further than I would want to chase it in the move. So what we need right now is a little rest or a pullback, maybe a little consolidation to hold on to this trend. And then UPS could set itself up, up for more upside and really breaking it higher here, moving up um, 
and maybe testing some of these highs. If the market is going to be breaking out to new highs, we should start to see some of these kind of stocks break out to those new highs. So let's keep an eye on that and keep um, um, UPS um, within iShot because a little bit of rest or pullback could set up a nice entry into the trade. Take a look at that MTCH. Now, MTCH yesterday, this was on my list for a potential trade, really got slammed hard yesterday uh, for some reason. So watch this one closely. This one could be falling off of the list, could set itself up for an ugly, ugly fail failure. That is an ugly bearish engulfing candle. Fortunately, what it ended up doing is holding right on that um, uh, trend support. So we could bounce back up, but we're going to have to watch that one pretty closely. And that one could be ready for a full on failure. TTWO is also one of those charts I'm watching. And yesterday had a, a bit of a pullback with the rest of the market moving up. So this one has a little concern as well. But once again, holding on to this trend, and we've seen that before where we get those pullbacks, we had that ugly breakdown right here and then that reversal right back up so let's watch this carefully see if that can move on up and I think at this point I would probably want this to show me a break of this price resistance before I'd be jumping into the trade so kind of keep an eye on that chart other charts there's charts out there like Google that really took off yesterday breaking through price resistance now google obviously kind of expensive if you're an option trader um it, it's expensive even as an option trader but google looking pretty good here after breaking through that resistance i don't think i would chase it here but any rest consolidation or pullback could be a good opportunity for that trade another place to look is in um in our um, technology area here um, in storage devices, WDC showing a lot of strength here, moving up strongly. Now, again, I wouldn't chase it this many days up, but any kind of a rest consolidation or pullback, WDC after breaking through this resistance and uh, a holdup in here would suggest more highs to come in WDC. As a matter of fact, if you take a look at this on a weekly, we have an incredible W bottom pattern here on the weekly. And breaking through that right there, any rest or pullback would suggest much more in upside potential here in WDC. Might want to keep an eye on it. Looking really, really good um, overall. So keep, um, well, just keep an eye on it. Um, let's take a look. Another one is STX. STX showing extreme bullishness here. Just ripping uh, ripping the ball off or the cover off the ball uh, being smacked higher here. Breaking through some resistance levels. Looking really, really strong here. Surprisingly strong to tell you the truth. Um, any rest or pullback in here could certainly set up opportunities now uh, for that trade. So keep an eye on it. A fairly close eye on it. It could um, really, um, really do something special here. Might want to take a look at a stock like BMY. Now, this is a different kind of stock. Um, BMY has been obviously in an ugly, ugly downtrend, and this is the kind of chart that we would we would term as a um, rounded bottom breakout type pattern, breaking that downtrend, rallying up, and if that can break on through here. Um, move on higher, we could start moving all of this uh, back to the upside. So watch that closely, trying to break that downtrend, holding right here at a level of price resistance that's going to be important um, that we get through. So watch that closely, a breakthrough here, maybe a hold, and we've got some opportunities here in BMY. Some of these big old companies starting to try and show some signs of turning back around. Um, last but not least, let's take a look at Procter & Gamble. Now, P&G has just been really, really strong. What a beautiful trend that's just lasted for most of the year, continuing to 
really look great here and challenging um, uh, more upside. So keep an eye on PNG. Um, any rest or pullback in here just sets up another opportunity for this to go higher. Procter & Gamble looking very, very strong. And I did say last but not least, but I got to show you one more. And I think this is an important uh, stock to pay attention to. And that is AT&T. AT&T is one of those slow grinder stocks, but it's also one of those places where people go to seek safety and get that high dividend yield. AT&T looking very strong, moving up nicely in this trend. It is going to be challenged by a significant level of resistance right in here. You can see price resistance all the way across here, but it is worthy of watching because if that can pop out of there, um, there could be some more upside in here. And it's just that safety play that people go to um, in times of market turmoil, and that may be um, looking pretty good. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you a great weekend. And if you've found this market to be very, very frustrating, and I have found this market to be very frustrating, just understand that it will eventually calm down. We'll eventually get back to better trading. We won't have these big gaps. We'll get past all of this newsy stuff that goes on. And just know that this is not untypical of this time of year. Year, um, August, September, October are typically very challenging months um, in the market. And I don't know why that is the case, but that's just the case. If you take a look at um, you know, Trader's Almanac, you'll see that the, that's pretty common. Those periods are relatively volatile. And hopefully things will start to calm down here soon and we'll get back to some better trading. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day, a great weekend, and we'll talk to you all bright and early Monday morning. Have a great weekend, everyone.